Welcome back guys to my channel and to the walkthrough of the five first clone base. Finally, let's go. Right here you can see 8 months of building and also roughly 50,000 lego bricks in a huge 501st clone wars base. Currently there are more than 200 clone trooper minifigures in the smog and there will be way more other minifigures for the battle scene. For the walkthrough you get this 212 attack battalion convoy moving into the 501st base and I place a lot of captain in this build so let's see if you can find them all and write down your count in the comments. Unfortunately I'm very sick so apologizing for the audio quality and let's get into the walkthrough. Starting off with the outside of the base and the walkway into the main gate of this 5st army base. In that case there is a 212 attack battalion convoy that comes back from the mission. Here up front we got our boy Wexer with the close army custom rp2 helmet to the right side we got more 212 attack battalion clone trooper some more specialized unit like the airborne trooper using some really cool firestar toys custom printed arms up front we got the leading general obi-wan kenobi in the 2003 clone wars armor and to his left we got his very loyal friend commander cody from the newest lego atte but they also need Need to be a big vehicle for this conway to make sense so here we got the news lego atte from the 212 attack battalion but we got captain rex and also animated phase one fives and echo sitting or riding on these attes back and especially this captain rex even though he's phase one and not phase two like the other clones fits really well in that scenario because yeah his boots have like the same dirt as the nature i built for this smog so yeah this minifigure fits in really well here up front on the base even closer to the base we got just more normal 212 clone troopers running into the open gate and on top of this att we obviously have the gunner in the new phase 2 mixed army style of 2020 so that was it for the walkways but not for the whole outside of the base to the right side we got some plants and vegetation of the biome we are in we got some yeah like of these lighter green and also of these dark orange plants and also this huge tree as you can see here with these blue accents and this nice colored green leaves i really love to build plants and trees and i think they're also adding a lot to a base and to a mock build overall and don't forget the left side here of the walkway, we also got some more vegetation, some trees, some smaller trees, one larger trees. We got these clones here with Captain Rex patrolling around the base to make sure there's no enemy anywhere near that base. And also this huge dark orange tree on this side. I think that looks pretty nice. Here's another look at all the plants. I've it very simple. It's very simple from the technique 
techniques also for the trees there's nothing special but the colors add a lot i think and lastly for the ground of the base we also got this really small scene you might actually already noticed with cat bane and aura sing preparing to infiltrate the base this is basically a little intro to the battle scene where the separatist forces try to storm the five first base and with dino lying here dead you might also noticing the little homage on the Clone Wars where Cat Bane kills Dino in the first season actually. Oh man, I'm really sad about this scene. Still, he was such a cool armor design and he got killed off in the first arc he was in. So yeah, pretty sad story of this early fallen brothers and here is his death scene. I've taken reference from for this little scene. Yeah, the plot twist is not Cat Bane dying there, but he's just taking his armor and killing him off fakely to escape from the ship that is burning down. And if you're now thinking, just as I am, why is this dude talking so much about this scene? Yeah, it might be a little hint on the next bigger building series for this channel. But back to the walkthrough and we're now finished with the outside of the base but not with the base wall and the front wall as you can see here is very fortified by some protected positions where some snipers, tactical lights and also some bigger guns are stationed to protect the main gate. We got eight protected positions over a wall, six of them are manned by either two of the newer five first sniper and and above of them are the tactical lights so they also can see perfectly at night and, and in that case it's also to blind the enemy so they can't see where the snipers are at. Exactly above the gate we got two of these double cannons. These are getting controlled inside the positions and are fully movable. So yeah that's the basic protection from the base for the front wall and also for the gate and main entrance into to the base where the convoy at the moment is taken in and the inside of the base I'm gonna show later. For that I show you the roof of the base. a lot going on on this roof so yeah a good way to start is just from left to right and we start with the landing platform featuring the 501st gunship from Dorian Brigtron and a lot of 501st clone troopers. The gunship uses only parts from the famous Lego 501st battle pack. And if you have four of the battle pack and want to build this beautiful design either, you can check out his channel in the video description. In front of the gunship we got these clone troopers and Mace Window making a small circle in front of the the entrance or the clones you can see here are using phase one except for these beautiful moonless 10 arc trooper here in the middle you can also see command Fordo on the right side and on the left side we got captain rex in the animated phase one style from lego 
This whole scene is a little reference to the original cartoon style Clone Wars movie, which was a real banger back then. We also got this RP2 501st clone pilot here with some tools. And yeah, shame on me, I mix phase 1 and phase 2 in this mock. So here you can see two RP2 clone pilots. To be exact, we got Hatchet on the bottom and on the top we got Clone Trooper Hawk. And on the left side of the gunship we got this animated Phase 1 Com Helmet Clone Trooper, which is also working on the ship. Here we got a Soka also walking towards the gunship in animated Phase 1 armor style. And here is Smash and his buddy also from his unit, both using area light custom helmets. Here's another front view of Ahsoka where you can see her armor is highly detailed and also this cool shot of the scene in front of the gunship through the gates of the gunship. Then we also got this big train of 501st jetpack troopers moving forward to Sassy Tin waiting here with more jetpack troopers and a 501st Reckon trooper to his right side. And in the background of the 501st Jetpack Troopers, you can already see the next part of the roof. We got two of these amazing AV7 cannon designs. Both of these builds are using only parts from the new 501st Specialist Battle Pack and are created by Legoman360. His channel is also linked in the video description. We got several 501st clone troopers working on the cannons and we got these driver troopers here commanding the cannons and yeah, they're using clone army custom helmets. I use a lot of different customs from different custom companies in this mock. So if you want to know exactly what I use, then check out the video description. We got another small scene here in front of the cannon. We got phase one Rex, a 501st commander and driver trooper fives here in front of the cannon. And with that we are on the right side of the roof where we have also five first clone troopers working on the cannon and this is a really cool custom version of another driver trooper with these cool blue flames on the helmet. Up front on the right side of the roof we got this scene where Phase 2 Captain Rex is standing in front of Arc Trooper Echo and Fives and in the background we got Dogma, Hard Case, Jesse and Tup all in realistic Phase 2 looking really dope. Here's a view with the AV7 cannon in the back and also a side view. This is really one of my favorite seats here of the build. In the first row of the roof, we also got these two 501st specialists here with the snipers give extra cover fire. And behind there is another Rex version here in the commando style armor. These are also some amazing shots and I will upload right after this walks through daily over to 200 shots of this clone base on my YouTube community tab. And for the last scene of the roof, we actually got all these 332nd clone troopers moving towards all the waiting 332nd clone troopers. Ahsoka, and yeah, they also have some specialized jetpacks here and there, some customized. And we also got the Captain Vaughn here up front on the newest 332nd Lego battle pack. This scene looks pretty good, even though I'm not the biggest fan of the new Lego 332 second clone troopers but they make for sure a cool saluting scene here for Ahsoka Tano from the Clone Wars season 7 basically and there will be another scene inside of the mock with all the other customized 330 second clone troopers whereas also the Captain Rex with the B32 second helmet which is in the original scene from the Clone Wars but yeah I decided to put this scene here on the roof and lastly here for the roof before we move inside side of the base we got also this beautiful 501st gunship design by Dorian Brickton. Again this time it's a smaller gunship using just two of the 501st battle packs and yeah let's check the inside of the base.
So here we take the first few looks into the base and we see a bunch of walkways on an upper level featuring a bunch of different clone troopers walking to their position, patrolling, oh yeah, just doing their daily business. In this case, they're protecting their sniper positions. As you can see here, there are a bunch of them to protect these snipers also from the other side, as you can see in this shot right here. And you also got some specialized clones like these are troopers and also the og anakin with his five first clone troopers from the jedi temple march as a little reference here some cool shots definitely yeah that's basically it for the walkways and snap positions of the second floor and now we go into the two rooms on the left side of the base we got the medical facility here with tang Rhi and omega together with the metroids and the uh, healing up some clone troopers that are wounded. This is the view from the top and another view from the front wall where you can see that there are guards and also a generator which is actually lighted as you will see soon. And on the other side we got the command center where a bunch of clone troopers are looking at some radars and other control panels so they're just managing the base. And as you can see there's also a clone officer from the new specialist but the pack and yeah a bunch of five first clone troopers overwatching the base and also looking at all the ships on the roof and other stuff in the area that might be near to the base as you can see here in the back there's also the lightning spot for the battery of the led lights i marked it with these tiles which is kind of funny and yeah as you can see if i remove it the battery is right underneath and now i put the lights on and yeah as you can see you don't see a lot of it because yeah i have to make the room dark so we put the command station back on top as you can see it's pretty easy and now yeah you can see the lights are on and we take a look of how it looks in the dark It looks definitely cool in some of these shots, especially here in the great hallway. It looks amazing, this ATTE of the turbo tank details here. But overall, I did not use the light as effective as I wanted, even though they are cool shots. And yeah, especially this room here is very yeah, good, lighted by these LEDs I put in place. But if you look here on the other side, it didn't work as well for the armory and yeah, also the medical facility it's more like i just lighted this generator there which is still cool and yeah i did the best of the leds i had by hand for my very first uh, lightning order and i never lighted a mock before so yeah i'm fine with these two cool scenes for for my also first larger clone base build and for the next larger building series i will order definitely some more lights and now we put the big lights back on and you can see how it looks fully yeah, lighted or at daylight you'd say and yeah this scene is also pretty dope we have data squad here we got captain rex anakin of kenobi we got here the outside march where you can see the convoy heading to the base yeah and here are all the generals meeting up in front of the 501st turbo tank we also got commander cody and boy on the left side and here is my favorite shot of clone boss anakin and captain rex face to from Lego. Also a dope shot of Commander Cody RP2 and Arc Trooper Boy. But for the floor of the base, we go in back to the armory for the next showcase. And as you can see, we also have a lot going on in front of the armory where some OG troopers, Captain Rex and the first Fire First Trooper, Ahsoka and the 332nd Customs are stationed. And here you can see a lot of heavies getting ready inside the armory and also crosshair and tech looking at the infantry stuff and basically a bunch of different scenes inside the 
this model in the first scene we got these heavy troopers getting ready or guarding the armory which is also one of their responsibilities in this base in the left corner we got crosshair and tech standing in front of the equipment of the basic infantry units on the other side of the room we got the rest of the badge we got Rekka looking at the explosives and making some jokes to echo and their left is also hunter all the bad batch minifigures are beautiful 360 pad printed custom minifigures which are highly detailed and way more accurate than the lego version in the middle of the armory we got another scene where captain rex is standing there with chuck t and the clone officer behind of them there are some regular clone troopers and yeah they're basically talking about specific equipment that is needed in the next mission or something completely different i mean who knows what lego minifigures are thinking but these two are for sure making fun of the equipment of the basic infantry man we know how much crosser hates the rex and yeah these both guys looking over there but definitely one no smoke with the badge we saw how that ended in the first season of the bad badge where they're yeah making quick business with them in the cantina scene but he also had a great redemption arc in season two of the series which is a very sad row of episode where we see what happens to the clone army after the war has ended but at least our boy crosshair gets a change of mind and comes back into the brotherhood which is why we all love the clone wars and also the clones so much so many epic scenes but also so many sad deaths so many different relatable and lovable characters so many nostalgic scenes i had as a kid with this show and also the previous cartoon version of the clone wars and the bad bitch telling the story after the clone war and yeah as you might see i'm a survey sort of clone fanboy so let's move on with the last thing here for the armory which is this clone phase 2 pilot moving some bombs to his ship probably a wiring bomber and now we're back in front of the armory where we take a closer look at all the clone troopers that are standing there on the left side of the entrance we got these clone troopers standing there with uh, captain rex phase 2 and also these original 501st phase to clone trooper from the ATRT set with Marcel Yoda back then. This beautiful Lego clone trooper represents peak Lego Star Wars back then and yeah the only downside of this minifigure is that i sadly own only one in my collection right in front of the entrance we got all my 332nd customs and in front ahsoka tano and 332nd captain rex talking with the clone officer my bad guys it's actually commander rex in this case and yeah we got a bunch of other clone troopers to his right we got captain vaughn and also a 332nd dragon troop and on the left side we got a 332nd commando and also a heavy and driver trooper plus a bunch of regular 332nd clone trooper in the back and now before the final of this walkthrough we got this side without the vehicles so you can see the back side of the clone troopers better and as you can see there are a lot of five first troopers back there you could not see when the turbo tank stand there we got on the right snow trooper rex we also got a bunch of troopers here with Lou Vaughn and Commander Apo. We got some more troopers here at the scanner and also some 212 attack battalion clone troopers moving into the base with the convoy. Overall, it's a very cool scene seeing all these 212 attack battalion also on this 501st base mock, which I am very thankful for that this minifigure is so easily obtainable and I can build not only the 501st but also my 212 army very well at the moment so yeah a little shout out to lego for that but that only counts for europe so yeah my apologies to the rest of the world where you have to pay horrendous prices to get the same amount i've got here for friction moving from left to right again we got the same as on the other side these little scanners which are really simple from the build but yeah they're doing their job and to the right we got this officer standing there with some heavy clone troopers and in front of the pipes we got 
Blue, Captain Vaughn and Commander Apo. Also a very dope shot in my opinion, especially with the wall details adding a lot to the shot. And to the right of them, we got another officer with some basic clown troopers and also some heavy clown troopers. And finally, as a last detail, we got this Pace One clone snow trooper, Captain Rex. He forgot that he's not on the diplomatic mission, so he doesn't need his snow gear. So yeah, that was basically the complete walkthrough and we are at 25 minutes 30 and I'm still talking to you. So I really appreciate everyone who looked at that point and I hope you enjoyed the video overall. I could talk at least one or two more hours about this build and how I love all the details and all the different clone troopers and the scenes on this build. But all things have to come to an end and I'm really happy to tell you guys that this clone base is finished and now also the walkthrough is finished which means the next step is to make the battle scene for the final cinematic where the forces of the CRS will try to infiltrate this 501st base. I really learned a lot of this first larger mock I built now and I can't wait to build even bigger projects in the future. So at this point of the video I say peace out and enjoy the rest of the video where I also have a compilation of the best and my personal favorite shots of this build. Don't forget to comment your opinion on my base down in the comments. I really love and appreciate all your guys feedback. We see us in the next episode where we finally have the better scene with the cinematic. Peace out Smashbrick Studios and remember guys for the Republic. Thank you.